Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dhere Bagga and I am really happy to announce that today is the 200th video of chess yard India. So it has been a consecutive streak of 200 days, one video every day and I'm really happy to be continuing this so far. And rest assured, I'll give my 100% to continue this and make sure that people like me who enjoy watching chess, playing chess, keep joining us and we just grow into a large community. So yeah, let's begin with today's game and see how it goes. I'll play the final blitz. Got the white pieces here. I'll play the London system setup. Starts with d4, bishop on f4, pawn to e3. Just trying to take out the bishop first before closing its diagonal by playing e3. Play pawn forward c3 here, preventing knight coming over to b4. Now willing to exchange bishops maybe or developing at the same time. If the opponent is willing to exchange, we can. The exchange does happen. Here I want to, pre generally in the London, you get the bishop back so that if the opponent does take, you can take back with the edge pawn and open up this wonderful file for the attack. Now developing the knight, maybe trying to go to e5, which is a central square, nice always a nice square to be controlling with the knight. Um, now I'll lose some momentum if I do so. So I'll rather uh, play a waiting move here, which would be knight over to b3. I haven't castled yet. Tr still trying to figure out which way it should be nice. Opponent takes with the knight, so I have to take back. Okay, now castling to the si uh, queen side makes more sense because I will be attacking the pawn as well in the center. Opponent also does castle. A few ideas here can offer queen exchange to begin with. Can do a rook lift and get it centralized. So I think going with the rook lift makes more sense. Trying to get my rook over to d4 and then attacking the center pawn again. Yes, opponent can play pawn forward. Okay, knight comes here, first of all, to begin with. I take, he takes, I take, he takes, so bad. Uh, I have to defend the pawn here. So I just go back maybe, which also clears up the way for my rook. Okay, opponent attacks. Um, can go here as well. The idea is to maintain a pin on this pawn. Open goes back with the knight. So I have to maneuver my rook backwards now. No other option here. Okay, opponent closes the structure here. Maybe a rook lift helps. Let's do it from this side on from the D file. Um Yes, let's double up as well. Opponent does play pawn forward here. Which means we can go ahead with the knight maybe in the center. Then trying to maybe go back over to uh, d3, attacking the queen. And then acquiring the f4, which would be nice. Opponent offers knight exchange here, which I'm not looking forward to right away. So I'll rather hit the queen with my knight. And now knight is going to come over to f4, the controlling square now. Now there's no threats of double attack on the pawn as well. So I've reinforced my pawn structure, everything is solid. Now is the time to think from where we attack, or maybe we don't. Uh, to begin with, I think I can take the pawn. Opponent can take back, and I can push the pawn forward here. Problem with pawn forward would be my opponent gets the rook here. Can I play this pawn forward instead? Opponent takes, and I take. Kind of looks fine to me. Let's go for a pawn break. This would defend my G pawn as well for the time being. Uh, 
Okay. I'll take with the pawn maybe. This forces him to move the knight. Knight there is annoying, so bet it moves. And the knight can come here and I can go with my queen over to g2 to defend it. Knight goes there instead. Okay, I think I should just... How is pawn forward loses the rook, the knight? I'll go here. Hitting the knight. Open doubles up. Maybe I can go back. No, this pawn would be weak. Can I push it forward? No, I can't because my knight is hanging. If I take... No, so... Need to do something. I think can can exchange queens of the board. That should be helpful. I can take back with the knight. Oh, my pawn. So I should take, once my open does take, I should take with the rook. So that there's no folk coming eventually. Open doesn't take. That's again a surprise. Okay, what do we do? This is getting trickier. Let's come back with a knight or now I can play pawn forward. No, I can't. Lot of pressure here in the center. I think I should take the knight. Maybe a bad move, but I have to do something about it. Opponent does take. I'll go up, trying to safeguard my king from the hits from my opponent. Maybe play pawn forward again. I can. My opponent cannot take because... Oh, he can take. I missed it. It's fine. But then I take the pawn. So I get a bit of compensation. My knight and queen are in the same rank. So I have to be careful with that. Open to setting the pawn. If I play the pawn forward, I'm losing it. So I have to go here. Trying to give a check next. If pawn forward, I can have a fork. But my opponent seems to be checking out everything properly. I think queens would be exchanged now. Losing out on time as well. Okay, play pawn forward, trying to defend a check. Let's go back. Open does simplify. Uh, I can go here and then trying to take on the pawns. I wish I had time. Okay, this is not a problem. I can play pawn forward. Now my opponent has to make way. I'll take. Take another. Okay, I think I'm getting a queen faster here. That's a draw if I take the pawn, which I will. <laughs> it was a lost game. I found my way out of it. Always nice to make comebacks. This was one. Let's see where I've blundered. I think knight takes rook was bad when I exchanged. But till here we were good. 
opening up the edge file, developing the night, connecting both of them. This point forward, which I do take an exchange. Here, oh, I had a queen check that takes up more on the spot, which I missed. Um, then trying to do the rook lift, which didn't work out. Had to come back eventually. Uh, tried the other way around. My opponent was playing strong. Yeah, rook over to f4 was also nice, which I missed. Had to take the knight, which I didn't. Till here, the game is fine. Pawn forward, I take. This again looks fine. I have a move here. Okay. Now, this is a computerish move, I would say, because knight goes to g5, and if my opponent tries to take the rook here, there's a fork coming that loses the queen on this part and does the match as well. Now, my opponent can take here, and I can take back, and things look way good for white. Instead, if so, I, I wouldn't have seen that coming for sure. That is too hard for me to find right now. And then I try to change queens of the board, which my opponent denies. I had to take the center pawn, which I didn't. Oh, okay. This was better in terms of after I take. And if my opponent decides to take the rook, say, I can take back. Opponent can take the queen. And I can take back. My opponent can take the knight. And I can take his knight. And then that is kind of a good end game for white. Especially with extra pawn and a good pawn structure. But I did the blunder there. And then I had to just run and find my way back into the game somehow. I thought I got extra piece there, but I didn't. And then I had to take the pawn. And then just trying to consolidate, move my king around. My opponent tries to push me backwards, offers queen exchange, which I do. And here my opponent did mistake, I think, by exchanging rook for knight. Because then he gave me uh, double pawns, but then I had time to move up the board. And then play slow and steady. Again, pawn forward was a bad move. And then I tried to take control. What's the best move here? Pawn forward, yes. Open goes there. I do take. He does take. I take. He takes. I played pawn forward, just trying to break open things. I do so. I can stop the king and get the queen off the board, but I went for a draw because I didn't have time on the clock to checkmate my opponent as well. So I just went for a simple draw. Uh, it was winning here after we. Uh, did the pawn exchange if I go with my king over to b5 I'll be just maintaining a, a rank a files difference between both the kings and then I can easily promote and I'll be the first one to promote so I'll be winning it if pawn forward of course I can and white is clearly winning this race yeah we both might get the queens on the board but that's not going to help because after a check, my opponent has to move towards the other file. There's no other way. And after that, there's a check. He has to move and then the queen goes. And that's a simple end game thereafter. So I hope you like the video. Do let me know your feedback. Keep watching and sharing. Do subscribe to the channel, please, if you haven't already by now. It takes a lot of effort creating these on a daily basis. And I shall see you tomorrow with another interesting game of mine. Thank you so much for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.